बंदे गुजरात First of all, let's see some pictures. All of you have observed all the pictures properly and say what the first picture says. Okay? Is it moving? No. It's just illusion. Let's see. Some more pictures. Here we will see some more examples of optical illusion. Is it moving? Is it moving? It is good in color. Yes. It is also very beautiful. Friends, have you seen all the pictures closely? Yes. Now you can guess what the first picture says. Now I will discuss about these pictures. Dear students, are you sure all the pictures are moving? No. They are stable. But whenever we see and feel, all the pictures are in moving mode. Now friends, we will see some more video clips about optical illusions. 25 most amazing optical illusions. 25. We have an example of an impossible object. Except this time, it's the rotation of the blocks that is inconsistent. Are they side by side or on top of each other? Maybe that's why they call them indecipherable figures. 24. See if you can make this woman spin in different directions. Twenty-three. 
At first, this one may be hard to see, but if you get a scan back and forth across the image, you'll notice that the squares in your periphery begin to rotate. As soon as your eyes stop moving, however, rotation will cease. 22. No, this is not an animated GIF. The image is really static. Notice that when you look at any individual point, dead on, it will stop moving. This powerful illusion is derived from interacting color contrasts and shape positions within the image. 21. These Lego pieces appear to be never ending in this triangle. 20. Yes, the Leaning Tower of Pisa does actually lean, but these two images are in fact one and the same. Although the image on the right appears to be leaning away from the one on the left, this is only in your head. Go ahead and try the same thing with the Empire State Building. It will lean too. Promise. 19. It looks like the orange circle on the left is quite clearly smaller than the right, but they're identical in size. 18. Because of the green cylinder here, it looks like it's resting on a checkered board, but actually, the squares A and B are the same color. 17. Which circles are moving for you? Actually, neither are moving. Sixteen. This is a classic named after Ludmar Hermann, who discovered it in 1870. At every point where the white lines intersect our eyes, perceive a gray, shadowy blob. If you look directly at one of the intersections, though, the blob disappears. Fifteen. Stare at this image for 30 seconds, and it will slowly disappear. The Caniza Triangle was named after the psychologist Gaetano Caniza, who first described its effect. When you look at the image, your brain creates contours, or outlines, of a triangle, although none exist. In reality, it's an illusion created by the wedges and the angles. 13. More moving around, but this image is completely still. 12. Does this shape have three stumps or not? 11. It won't be long before that big monster catches the baby monster. Except when it does, it'll find they're the same size. 10. The dots between the squares are all white. 9. There are several variations to this illusion, but the effect is the same. The blue and green backgrounds are in fact the same color. Open it in Photoshop. 8. Stare at the dots in the center for 30 seconds. Now close your eyes. 8. What do you see? Seven. More line jiggery pokery here. All the lines are straight diagonal ones. The smaller ones create the illusion. Six. Just a quick FYI, those red lines are straight as arrows. Five. No stairs here, just depth perception with the drawing and the red square in the background. Four. These lines are moving up and down, but not to the right. Do they move right without you thinking? Three. Our eyes are tricking us into believing the pink dots are moving, but they're all stationary. Two. Which image is bigger, A or B? Because they're actually the same size. One. Stare at the dot in the center of this image. Dear students, this video is based on optical illusion. Are you enjoying? Yes. Now open your English textbook and now today we are going to learn activity 11A, 11B on page number 39 in unit 3.
Okay, now I will tell you information about optical illusion. Optical illusion. An optical illusion, also called a visual illusion, is an illusion caused by the visual system and characterized by visually perceived images that differ from objective reality. The information gathered by the eye is processed in the brain to give a perceived that does not tally with a physical measurement of the stimulus source. Illusion depends many of things like brightness, color, size, position, tilt, movement, etc. Now we will see another video clips. students have you seen this video clip what have you seen in this video clip let's discuss in hot summer days when we go on the road we can see a water on the road but when we reach there there is no water on the road in fact there is no water on the road but we can feel there is a water on the road it's called mirage now I will tell you some information about mirage. Here we have live example of illusion is mirage. A mirage is a naturally occurring optical phenomena in which light rays are bent to produce a displayed image of distance objects or the sky. Here we have another diagram of mirage. Here we can see sunlight throws on the road and reflection of the sunlight on the image. See the picture. Actually there is no reality but we can see and feel it is there. It is called an illusion. Our eyes reflect more details when we have past memories about that object. If we have not, then we can see which is first reflect in our mind. Here are some more examples for that. Here we can see the dog. Can you see the dog? In this picture, yes, it is optical illusion. Is it parallel or random line? Yes, it is parallel. It is our optical illusion. We can see random line. What is this? Can you guess? Yes, this is a duck. What is this? Can you guess? Yes, it is a picture of rabbit. Right. See this picture. What is this? Yes, it is optical illusion of a frog. Now you can see it is a picture of a horse. We can understand this concept more effectively by visual examples. See this picture. 
Now you can see this picture more closely. Here we can say grandfather and grandmother. But here we can say another picture in it. This picture is also an example of optical illusion. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. It is a picture of a bird. And flowers. Another example of an optical illusion. Here we can say one picture of a girl and a grandmother. Here we can see a triangle in a different shape. Another picture. Yes, it is one more example of optical illusion. Students, can you see this picture very different? In your notebook, you have drawn this picture. I am happy. I am sad. Dear friends, we will see an optical illusion picture in your textbook. Now, I will ask you some question based on this picture. First question. Students, see this picture carefully, properly and closely. Okay, I will ask first question. How many faces are there in the picture? All of you counting? Okay, the answer is mm, 32, right? Now switch on second question. How many young ladies faces are there in the picture? Can you guess? Yes, you are right. There are eight pictures of young ladies' faces. Now third question. How many young men's faces are there in the picture? Young men, young men, young men's. Can you guess? Yes, there are 12 faces of young men's. Now, fourth question. How many old men's faces are there in the picture? Yes, you are right. There are four faces of old man's in the picture. In nature, there are various types of animals, birds, insects, etc. Now let's see some pictures of animals and insects. Lion, Tiger,
get dog an elephant monkeys all wild animals snack scorpio spider honey bee house fly ants and butterflies have you enjoy okay nice now we can see some pictures of birds peacock peacock swans ducks parrot sparrow crows woodpecker friends are you enjoying see these pictures carefully can you guess give me the answers whose eyes are these do you know yes it's an owl whose legs are these Yes It's duck Whose crest are these Yes peacock Whose beak is this Yes it is very beautiful a parrot it is a bird here we can see body parts of a bird these are body parts of a bird feather wing tail leg beak eyes and head okay Let's learn about some details of a birds. First, a peacock. Peacock is a very beautiful bird. It is our national bird. It has found in most part of India. It has a long beautiful neck and legs. peacock mainly lives on food grains and insects a female peacock is known as a peahen let's see some picture of a peacock now i will tell you about flamingo 
Flamingos are famous for their bright pink feathers, still like legs and S-shaped neck. They are beautiful in colors like pink and reddish feathers. They live in shallow lakes. They eat fish and snails. Now I will tell you about a duck. Duck is a bird which normally we can found when where there is a water like streams, ponds and lakes. The sound of a duck is called quacking. The duck's mouth is called bill. Every day we are seeing different types of birds. They are different in size, color and they have different voices. Their different colors attract us to them to see them continuously. Their different colors are due to their colorful feathers which make them awesome in looking. Friends, open your textbook second semester and page number 39. Today we are going to learn activity 11b on page number 39 unit 3. It is a project work. Prepare a feather book in your textbook otherwise stick a feathers in your notebook. Friends, now we are entering in a dream world. We are watching birds and its feathers. It is an eagle. It is a kingfisher. It is red macaw. We can call it crane. It is called hornbill. It is woodpecker. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. It is Robin. It is an owl. Here we have information about birds and birds body parts and feathers. You can draw and collect feathers from your surroundings. Thank you. Gujarat